Let's take a look at our lineups today for these two teams. For the Fullerton Titans, a fairly veteran lineup. Certainly, Neff, Lewis, and Nimmo, all seniors. The head coach for the Titans' is sixth season at the helm at Cal State Fullerton, and we're ready to get going. Ball in the hands of Charisma Osborne to start things off. Lucy from UCLA, this is one of the most more veteran floors that they have. But you'll see five freshmen on the floor at times. UCLA's first set, they look to go inside to Charisma Osborne on the block. I think we're going to see quite a bit of that. That's what, we talk, that's what the team talked about in shoot around earlier today. Clock is at four, Conti lets it fly. Cameron Brown and Emily Bassois combining there for that rebound. Bassois getting the tip of it. Coach Rada spoke about keeping them off the boards, limiting them to one shot. Yeah, good luck with that. Right? I know. <laughs> no. Let's see if they can work on that the rest of the game. Looking inside there, they take it away. Uh, Bruins, 44 rebounds per game is their average. Uh, they're plus 10 on the boards. From the corner. That's a good look by Neff. Yeah, solid looking shot by Catherine Neff. <laughs> Behind the back. Oh, trying to make the pass. Picked off by Bidmont. You know, one of the things that Coach Harada spoke about was being disciplined defensively. Earlier in the game, you saw that they contested a shot without fouling, and right there, got a steal. And who got the steal? Right, exactly. <laughs> Vidmar. He's going to keep doing it. Kiki Rice. And Tight inside with the Titans, so Bess Wise says, all right, I'll take a little mid-range out here. That was nice turnaround jumper. She read the defense. They were sagging on her. Nice little shot. A senior who came to this team from Florida International. Osborne keeping her away, but no problem for Nimmo. Yeah, really patient there. Off Osborne's foot recovered. Nice pass inside to Conti, and she draws the foul. Really important that they're not just on the low block, but have a lot of versatility. I think that's what Corey Close has set. And so while this is a very guard-heavy team, she's got a lot of options. Take away Kiki Rice. One-on-one. -on -one. Pump no good. Conti, though, at her back. That's the kind of effort that Corey Close wants to see. Conti. Going to the cup with Rice. Absolutely. You never assume that your teammate's going to make that shot. You want to follow it and get the offensive rebound. Osborne, beautiful rainbow. Let me tell you, she's just standing flat-footed and can shoot that shot from three-point line. It's going to be tough for her. It's going to be a long night yeah. for the Titans. <laughs> going underneath London Jones. Great defensive effort. Conti. Different speed. Great pass into Sontag. Oh, that's nice. And the Bruins bucket. That's nice. That was a nice spine, nice bounce pass. Nimmo, bucket up. The Cal State Fullerton just still having trouble finding their way. They're one for seven. Osborne from the corner, not. As soon as it left her hands, it was too much, too strong. Doors closing. Cameron Brown open in the corner. They're leaving her wide open. Going to dare her to make one. That's a straight foul. Miss Warr hasn't shot many free throws this year. Injury and Corey close. And I said, what do you want from her this year? She said, I want her to be mean. <laughs> I want Miss Warr to, to be meaner. I was like, I can help her with that. Right. Uh, but what Coach Close said that she loves is the fact that she really does have a good time with her players. But, you know, sometimes she can be a little tough. A little Meet saucy. Up. Ah, there you go. Here's the lucky bounce. Hopefully now the Titans can get some rhythm. Yep. And also seal, uh, seal all over it. There's another finish. In minutes and assists for this team. Had a really nice game against Pepperdine the other day. Yeah, what I loved about that play was she attacked. Uh, she didn't let the defense set up. 
actually giving them a little bit more energy coming off the bench. So it's going to be uh, hard for her to go back to the bench. Osborne from the line, one of the best free throw shooters in the game, around 85%. So they have a lot of energy, create a lot of turnovers, and you know, hopefully some success. For sure. yeah. Shot clock at five, no good. Yeah, and certainly with the thin teams they've had in the last few years, you couldn't exhaust yourself. Coach Hart, I mean, now I'm going to be a coach here of my kids, and I'm wondering yeah. how to do that. Go ahead, Julie. No, I just wonder what it's like, you know, your little sister. Do you guys play one-on-one? Mm -hmm. Has she ever beaten you? Oh, man, she's never beaten me. Uh, I don't give her that uh, that courtesy. to. I don't take it easy on her. So <laughs> okay. I make sure when, when we play, she, kn she knows that I'm going 100%. Well, you know what? That makes it better. Yeah, of course it does. I mean, I just love the tenacity yeah, that she plays with and that she, she doesn't care about makes or misses. You know, she's going to shoot the ball when she's open, and she's going to go get the rebound when she misses one of the things that i saw i went to shoot around earlier today and she was probably one of a few players that stayed around to uh -huh. work on her game yeah is that pretty typical of who she is of course she's a very hard worker um she likes to be the best let's talk about your game today really nice win Thank for you. your team right uh 11 steals you turn oh, it over kiki, 24 kiki. times what's going on kiki rice with the finish fast break guns she read that play perfectly got her hand on the ball wide open layup yeah you turned over Denver 24 times for 30 points today. What do you like about what your team is doing at 8-2 and two this year? I, I mean, I love our defensive intensity. It's something that we were lacking a little bit in the first half. And there goes Kiki again. And the fast break game. I got to start doing this more often. Yeah. <laughs> we're not stepping in. <laughs> Just yep. how emotional she was. Like, I, I actually won the That's won the right. Match. I won the match. Yep. And she had a she had had an injury filled career, wow. so it was, it was great to see her come back. Yeah, to eliminate some of the steals and the turnovers. Uh, you know, Coach uh, Harada talked about limiting turnovers. Right, and that's one of the things that is Corey Close is talking to us about limiting turnovers. Absolutely, and, uh, she can live with those. She can sleep a little easier. With Dead ball turnovers are much better than those live ones. Yep. Iwala, nice finish by her. So it's in her DNA. Yeah, there you go. Picks it up. And she's falling, gets the ball, contains it enough to get it to Charisma, which looks a little defeated. You know, have a little bit more energy out there, talking more. Uh, I, I know it's a daunting task. But yeah, and you can't be defeated this early. Not this early. There's always time on the clock, right? That's right. <laughs> now that soccer game. There's Osborne. <laughs> What I love about Harada is they're talking about it. She's talking about the move. She thought she was being well calculated. Osborne. Just stretching their lead. Long ball. Those need to start falling for the Titans. Osborne and Rice collide. Rice takes it and finishes it. Being patient, coming off screens. That's an area that they want to continue to work on. Movement out to the top of the key. That's a great one. And that's a great one. <laughs> that was Ichel Hernandez. There's there's a competition within the larger competition, and they they want it there. I like that shot by Janetovich. Osborne the other way up the fingers. That's great ball movement. All the way around to the corner, it comes up short, but as you're talking about the ball movement and the finish inside from Cameron Brown. UCLA's defense has really held them under that average. Hopefully, they'll come out, be a little more settled, and uh, and stick to their game plan and execute it. <laughs> movement inside, and well done. Just patience. There you go. Shot clock's at seven. It's going out. It's going to take a long shot. Charisma Osborne, you see it? Leaves the fingertips in time. And wow. Fullerton had a great defensive uh, set there, but there was UCLA being patient. Last second shot. Boussois gets the open shot. You know, their post players do a great job at that little mid post or mid um, in the key arrange. The sense of urgency. Absolutely. We talked about that in our in our uh, our phone call and I asked him what and 
blank. Without what, you would be very different. And he said a sense of urgency. The importance of making sure that they play Pete in those games. Taking a trip to Texas. Long outlet pass foul on London Jones. You take away that pressure. It's almost as if you're in the front court or, you know, and you're playing defense and you have some backdoor door cuts. That was a backdoor cut with a, a back screen. So great play. And what Fullerton is doing, well, they haven't been to the line very much, but they're four for four from the line. If they can get there a little bit more and keep having great percentages, that's a way to chip at this lead. Absolutely. Kiki Rice, though, just weave it in and out of traffic. Kiki Rice has these long arms. Even though she may not be getting a, a block, she's a she's definitely affecting the shot. Yep. There's a three. Scratching the itch, the first. Yeah, that was a great shot set up by John Janinovich, attacking in transition, getting in the paint, collapsing the defense for a wide open shot. Well, response coming. Great success is coming your way. Advantage of it, they didn't get a shot. But one of the things, just going back to your question, they, Osborne, I don't think for three. <laughs> when you say look at her face, what what comes to mind when I'm looking at her is that you can tell when somebody loves defense. Absolutely. Right? When they absolutely oh love it. Love like, it. Yes. Like this is what I thrive off of. That, yeah. But I love play, to coach players like, like that. that. <laughs> well, Corey Close has said, look, she has some work to do away from the ball on sure. defense. Yeah, and that'll come. You know, 2,700 points in high school. I mean. And I saw her play a game. There was a zone press 2-2-1. London from the corner, no good. But you know what I liked about that is uh, taken away, <laughs> ripped away by London Jones. I mean, she's like, I missed the shot, but I'm getting it back. And that's the kind of playing on both ends that you want to see. Iwala pays it off. Right? So it's not this individual thing, but each one collectively is contributing to the success. Great cut by Sontag. Great cut, great pass. I feel like the Titans are playing with renewed energy. They're getting stronger, but UCLA has met the moment. They've met the moment, absolutely. And it's like you can't trade baskets right now. But, you know, again, I think what Coach Harada wants to see is, hey, there you go. That's Catherine Neff. 20-point lead for UCLA as the final minute of the third quarter. Hawkes, top of the key. Woo! Absolute. And yeah, UCLA is going to wait for the last shot here, rightfully so. Calling out Horns play. P. Rice going in straight up the middle. At will. At will. Uh, defensively, but they just took turns scoring. It's fun to watch. Fourth quarter action now starting. UCLA, of course, we talked about it, eight and one in the season. Incredibly talented team. They might be able to settle down just a little bit, run their offense, um, you know, with pace. I think early on in the in the uh, um, they didn't get open for any kind of the entry passes, and so they still, even if they're going to rely on their half court offense, a little takeaway and an opportunity. Here's Nimmo. You've talked about her needing to get into the paint and get to the line. And she does exactly that. Well, nice setup there, Anne Marie. <laughs> Nimmo making the most of it. And that helps you, you know, during regular game play. So let's see if it translates over. Yeah, Fullerton is 100% from the free throw line. So let's see if they can take advantage of this. Again, coming in the middle. Again, going to get to the line. Strip speed right there, uh, Janovich. So Sontag will take a seat, and Cameron Brown back in. UCLA, four turnovers in the first one. Jovanovic at the line again. And they sent Rice to the, to, the, uh, to the bench. To the bench, took her out. Yeah. Steady with their defensive principles. Stay in position, get deflections, get steals. And so, you know, UCLA, again, every coach, both of these coaches are going to have something to work on. Mm. Yeah, the Bruins without Iwala, by the way, for that South Carolina game, another big body that would have helped them. They played South Carolina well. Actually, the only loss for the Bruins so far this season. Yeah, and Coach Close talked about they took away a lot of um, 
you know, good lessons that, they, that can carry them through. They didn't have the depth that they needed in the post, but they led a good portion of that game. Real change for Fullerton in this quarter. Also, just getting to the line again and again. Here's Jovanovic again. Another 10 of 11, or 11 of 12, excuse me, as a team. And this is a 10-0 run. I know the Coach Close won't be happy about that stat at all. Um, but again, I think you have to give some credit to Fullerton. They are being the aggressor right now. And uh, UCLA, you know, sometimes just mentally you think the game is over. You, re you relax. You're not as focused. Uh, they've got to get that focus back. Yeah, for sure. They can't do that and afford that. In this particular situation, they had a sizable lead. A doing the work first four minutes into the fourth quarter for the girls. Well, you know, again, go inside. That's been the focus, one of their keys. They went inside. Iwala, great move. Nemo inside. Beautiful. Beautiful. Right there at the basket. Hawkins trying to make it rain. Hawkins is trying to get that first shot back that she passed up. <laughs> Sometimes it's okay to come out and foul to just get your team mates, you know, working harder. So she did a wonderful job. Uh, they're happy to have her back. She was out for the last two games, as I mentioned, including that South Carolina game for concussion protocol. And six rebounds. Yeah, she's going to give UCLA quite a bit of depth in the post, as we know. But, you know, she's physical. She's got great footwork. Really excited to continue to see her evolve. though where the foul was and so she's over there giving Bob Co uh, Schofield a little bit of uh, getting in his ear a little bit and I love Bob Schofield's time Absolutely. talking to her and, uh, and telling her about it teachable moments one of two made there shot clock is at seven those shots have not been falling not at all not at all uh, they're reverting back to what they were doing earlier oh yes <laughs> and one from three point, but again, we've been admiring her defense all the way. Absolutely, whether the shot is falling or not, you don't take them, you definitely can't make them. Deaky Rice, no good. Fullerton has done really well getting to the line Absolutely. in the second half, and especially in the fourth quarter. It's made a big difference for them, gotten better and better for them. And a lot of that is because they've been more aggressive attacking the basket. Yeah, wow. and by contrast, they're 15 of 17 now oh, from wow. the line. Wow. So wow. two to two, huge. you know, all that in the in the second half. So 13 for 15 in the second half. Mm. Not great numbers from three point range. Nemo again staying away from the bucket. I tell you, if she gets <laughs> within the, the restricted line, she's money. She's got to make sure that she gets in there. She's just shying away from that. Iwala. Hey, 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 hey. yeah, I hate to get her to see her get hit in the head, especially coming back from the concussion. If that was the case. Yeah, exactly. And yeah. This is her first game back. It's going to be two shots of the ball back, right? Yeah, exactly. And Iwala. Just happy to see her out here. As you I mentioned, they, she missed the previous two games in the concussion protocol, including the South Carolina game. Yeah. You could kind of tell when she got hit. She was like, oh, no, not again. Yeah, right? exactly. Yeah. Coach Arata says she, he, he wants to see her shoot a little bit more. So. Love it. In halfway. Ow, but you wall with the follow-up. A far cry from what happened against Santa Barbara where they started off slow. So if they stay consistent throughout the, the game, yeah, I think they're going to see a lot more of these wins. Yep, and they're going to have to take care of the ball. 27 turnovers for UCLA, a problem today. But the Bruins get the win over Cal State Fullerton, 64-41. A win for Corey Close. UCLA improves to 9-1 on the season.